Hello and welcome to this tutorial on advanced searching in EBSCOhost's CINAHL database. CINAHL stands for Cumulative Index to Nursing and Allied Health Literature, and as the name suggests, it indexes the top nursing and allied health literature available. This tutorial will show you how to use controlled vocabulary to do advanced searching. If you'd like a basic search video tutorial, I'll link it in the corner. So current Harcum students, faculty, and staff can access CINAHL through the Charles H. Trout Library website. Our web address will be listed in the description box below. And what you want to do is locate our A to Z database list. So it's here on the front page under databases. And CINAHL will be located under C in the alphabetized list because CINAHL starts with a C. So if you're on campus, you will be automatically signed in once you click on the link. But off-campus users will need to use a username and password to access the database. Click the link above to watch a video on how to find those passwords for our databases. So when you're ready, click Send All with Full Text to be taken into the database search page. And this is what the search interface looks like. Now you can go ahead and put your keywords in here and just hit search and search, do a keyword search. But the real power of CINAHL is in the subject headings. And so these subject terms or mesh headings, as they're also called, um, are a controlled and hierarchically organized vocabulary. And it's used by the National Library of Medicine and also in the CINAHL database. So using subject headings is advisable because it will allow you to retrieve more relevant results and perform very efficient searches. So let's say I'm interested in finding out about meditation and cancer patients. The first thing I'm going to do is search in the CINAHL subject headings to find out how my topic is described in the controlled vocabulary. There are two ways to do that. You can either click in the CINAHL subject headings up here, or if you put a check mark in the suggest subject terms option at the top of your search box, once you type in your search term, so in my case it's cancer patients, and meditation, and I hit search, it's going to run my search in the subject headings. And so let's do that now. So I'm going to hit search, and instead of taking me to a page of results, I'm being shown the CINAHL subject headings search page. So the database is showing me the controlled vocabulary for my terms cancer patient and meditation and my results here are ranked by relevance. So what you want to do is look through this list to see if any of these subjects match what your match your topic. So right away I see cancer patients. So I'm going to click on that and what and now you see a list of subject subheadings. Now if you want to, if these match your topic, you can select some of them. And what the database will do is it will search for not only your cancer patient's major heading, but also whatever subheading you selected. Now if you don't select any, the database defaults to, to searching all of them. And if that's okay with you, you can go ahead and add that to your search by clicking on ma the major concept over here. And if you want to take away a topic, you can just click the remove button. If you're not sure if these match your search, there are scope notes. So look for this little comment icon, and if you open it, you'll see a little description of that topic. So you're going to look through your search list until you find the words that match your topic. I see meditation right here. And again, I would like to add it to my search as a major concept so I can put a check mark either here or over here. And if you don't see your search term here in the list, make sure you hit the, the next to page over to the next uh, set of results, or you can go back by hitting browse additional terms and run the search again. Now the last thing you want to do before you search the database is just make sure that you're selecting the right boolean operator. In this case I want both 
cancer patients and meditation to be appear in the search results. So I want I want to combine my topic my words with and. If I didn't if I wanted either of those, I could leave it on the default or. And when you're ready, you're going to hit search database. So we've run our search and we've got 22 results. So what we can do now is we can further limit those results. We've got some options here on the left hand side. We can do scholarly peer reviewed journals, which is important in the allied health and nursing uh, fields. You can also limit by date, which is another important factor to consider. So I'm going to limit my results to five years. And then finally, you have some demographic options here, age, gender, and location. Then looking through your results, once you find an article that you want to um, read, you simply click on the title, which takes you to a page with demographic, sorry, uh, bibliographic information. The uh, full text will be linked on the left hand side. Um, if you do not see a link for the full text, please go to our website and under forms you can fill out an interlibrary loan request and we can get that for you from another library. And over here on the right hand side you have options to print, email, and cite. There is a citation generator in this database. So you op want opening it you'll see a list of citations um, in different citation styles for this article so you would simply find the one that you're using often AMA, APA is in here as well and just a word of caution I also want to double check that these are correct so uh, if you go to our website under site, site sources there's a style guide for AMA, APA and so on and you can double check that these are correct because they are written by a computer after all and then finally, if you do get stuck, you need some help, there is an Ask a Librarian option up here in the menu bar. You simply fill out your name, email address, and your question, and it will default to include your search history, which is um, often helpful for the librarian to see, and it goes to the library staff and will respond as soon as possible. You can also go to our website and find our contact information there. And then if you would like further help, if you want to do it yourself, there's a help option in the menu bar as well. All right, happy searching with Sinol, and thanks for watching.